If you have ever wondered how to use your vinyl cutting machine to screen print on a t-shirt, I'm going to show you how. Did you even know that you could use vinyl to screen print? It's true, it makes it easy. I'm going to walk you through the process. Using vinyl is a great way to make your design on your screen that you can use as a stencil for screen printing on t-shirts like this one. Here's all the supplies that you're going to need and I have a list of them in the description or in my blog post. When you are cutting your vinyl for your stencil for doing screen printing, it's just a little bit different than cutting regular vinyl. When I cut regular vinyl, I really like to squish it into the corner to get the maximum use out of my vinyl sheet. When I am doing a stencil, I like to have it a little more centered so I have a little bit of room on the edges to cover my design. And then when you are doing screen printing, we are attaching the vinyl to the bottom of the screen, which means it's going to go on backwards. To make your image backwards, you need to mirror it. So go ahead and click it, hit object, mirror, flip horizontally, and it will flip for you. That's all there is to it. Now you can cut your design and be ready to roll. When you're doing screen printing, you are using your vinyl to make a stencil. So normally when you attach vinyl to a shirt, you'll weed out the background. But here, since it's a stencil, you are going to weed out wherever you would like your paint to go. So you're going to peel all the letters out if you're trying to put letters on a shirt. Next we're going to transfer our stencil onto our screen. You're going to use transfer tape, which I've cut right here. And put it directly on top of your vinyl like you would any other adhesive vinyl project. This vinyl keeps curving, so I'm gonna call in some backup. There we go. You're gonna go ahead and scrape that down tight. You can almost see where you've scraped and where you haven't to really get the transfer tape to adhere to your vinyl. Once you have it scraped on, you can go ahead and flip it over and pull off the paper backing. Now this is actually the back of our vinyl. It's the sticky part and you're going to see here why we cut the design reversed because we want to stick it to the back side of the screen. If it was stuck on top of the screen when you pull your paint across, it would get caught in all of the ridges of your design. So we're going to stick it on the back to keep the front nice and smooth. You can attach it either way to your screen. I think I'm going to turn it this way. It's okay if it's not exactly centered, but it will help if you can get it centered. It will help you when you're centering it on your shirt. Okay, so I just set it down. Again, the top of that vinyl was sticky, so I'm gonna take my scraper, scrape it on. I'm gonna flip it over, and then we can go ahead and peel off the transfer tape. Removing the transfer tape does take a little bit of patience, and I highly recommend using permanent adhesive vinyl, the shiny vinyl. It sticks a little bit better to the screen. So if you feel like your vinyl is really pulling off, maybe you're using removable vinyl. And again, you're gonna wanna peel to the side, not straight up as you work your way along your design. Okay, so then you're going to go ahead and turn it over and scrape it some more since as we pulled that off, there were some places that maybe lifted up off the screen. As you can see, I've got a bubble right here. I'm not too worried about it. Um, if it bleeds just a little right there, I'm going to be okay with it because it gives it that handmade touch. So then you're also going to want to block off in the back if you have spots that are exposed on your screen and you can just use painter's tape. You don't have to block your entire screen off but you want to give yourself lots of room to work. Alright now that your screen is prepped we are ready for the magic to happen. As a precaution you'll want to put a piece of cardboard or poster board inside of the shirt that you're working on so that the paint will not bleed through. Next up, you're going to take your screen 
and place it where you would like your design on the shirt. Next, you're gonna take your screen printing paint. I'm just using black and generously place it at the top of your design. I know you're probably thinking, oh, but I don't wanna waste any ink. It's okay because once you scrape it down at the bottom of the design, you can gather that ink back up and put it back into your container. Make sure you have enough all the way across to go down your design. And make sure that you're enough to the edge. See how this might not cover the edge of the D, so I need a little bit more over there. Then you're gonna need your squeegee, and the idea is we are going to put it down, hold it kind of at an angle. You can see how I'm holding it at an angle, not straight up and down, but angled. And we're going to drag it across the design. I have found that I can drag more evenly if I'm using two hands and pulling at the same time versus one where the pressure is a little uneven. If you want to use two hands when you pull it, you're gonna need someone to hold the screen for you so that it doesn't move as you pull. If your design's a little bit smaller, you're good to go with just one hand, but this one almost fills my whole screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it two hands and call in a kiddo to help hold my screen. All right, now that I've got him here, here we go. This is the fun part. Ready, Will? Mm -hmm. All right, I pulled evenly. I've got the ink down here. Woo! Don't flip it onto your shirt. So I've got it on my um, scraper. And I only did one pull, and then we're going to lift the screen off. Are you ready? Here we go. Good. Okay, so this extra, I'm going to scrape right back into my container so that I can use that ink again. And then immediately, I can either reuse this and screen print several shorts, or I'm going to rinse it off so that the paint does not dry on my screen. To get it off my screen, I just use that spoon. You know I'm thrifty, so I wanna get all that paint so that I can use it on my next shirt. Okay, so to take off your vinyl, you're just gonna flip it over, pull that tape off, and also pull off your vinyl duvet. And then you'll also need to pull off all of the pieces of your letters. Once that's done, you can rinse your screen. We'll do that just by running water through it. Once you've ran water through it, you can towel dry it and leave it to air dry for the rest of the way. Alrighty, back to the shirt. So I feel like I got a little overzealous about pulling in the beginning without pushing down quite as much as I did the rest of the way. And you can see it's a little less defined on that first R and the tip of that E. As you get down into the design, you can see that it's really filled in well. And so that's just trial and error and practice and part of the fun of it being handmade that it has a little bit of imperfection in it, which I don't mind at all. So there you go. Once you've screen printed, you'll wanna let that ink dry. Once it dries, we are going to iron it to heat set it in and then it's good to go. So the screen printing paint is dry. We're going to iron it to heat set that in. So you're gonna wanna cover it with just a scrap cloth or gar pressing cloths that you can get. You're gonna heat it up and really firmly press on your design so that you can heat set it before you wash it. And then when I wash them, I like to wash them inside out just in case. That's all there is to it. There you go, that's all there is to it. So if you have a vinyl cutting machine, you can get yourself a few additional supplies and be screen printing t-shirts in no time. Have fun!